Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a lively and imaginative little girl named Lila. She had a wild mop of curly hair that bounced with every step she took, and a mischievous twinkle in her bright blue eyes. Now Lila was no ordinary girl. She had the magical ability to make anything and everything come to life just by using her vivid imagination. Every night, as the moon began to rise and the stars sprinkled the sky, Lila would snuggle under her soft and cozy blanket, clutching her favorite unicorn stuffed toy named Sprinkles. It was time for Bella, the bedtime story narrator, to weave a tale of wonder and enchantment for Lila's dreams to explore. Bella, with her velvety voice that could lullaby a hummingbird to sleep, would begin. Oh, once upon a giggly moonbeam, there was a cheerful little village. In this village, the houses were made of candy, and the streets were paved with honey. Can you imagine that? Lila's eyes grew wider as she nodded eagerly. Bella continued, Now, in this extraordinary village lived the silliest group of characters you could ever meet. They had bumblebees for best friends and danced with ladybugs every Tuesday. The leader of this wacky bunch was a brilliant purple owl named Professor Quiddlebottom. Lila giggled at the mention of such a quirky name. Professor Quiddlebottom had enormous round glasses that made him look like a wobbly grape, and his feathers were as soft as marshmallows. He always carried a stack of books, you see, and loved to explore the world through his magical magnifying glass. Nothing was too strange or too ordinary for the wise owl to investigate, Bella continued. As the story unfolded, Bella described Professor Quiddlebottom's adventurous expeditions to distant lands like Bubblegum Forest, where the trees blew bubblegum bubbles, and Pancake Lake, where maple syrup flowed endlessly. Lila clapped her hands in delight, imagining the incredible sights and sounds. Bella introduced a mischievous group of woodland creatures who helped the professor on his wacky quests. There was a juggling rabbit named Whiskers, who could juggle apples while riding a unicycle, a chatty squirrel named Chatterbox who loved to gossip about the latest acorn fashion trends, and a tiny twirling chipmunk named Zippy who was always zipping around at lightning speed. Together they embarked on thrilling and hilarious adventures, like searching for the elusive golden popcorn in a magical popcorn field, or having a tickle fight with a giggly unicorn. Spella wove tales of friendship, laughter, and gentle lessons that danced in Lila's imagination like fireworks on a summer's night. As Bella reached the end of the story, she whispered, And so, my dear Lila, with sprinkles by your side, may your sweet dreams carry you to a world where anything is possible. Dream big, my little dream weaver. Lila's eyelids grew heavy with the weight of her imagination, and she drifted off into a slumber filled with extraordinary adventures. And so, dear reader, whether it's a village paved with candy or a land of bubblegum forests, may your dreams be as boundless as Lila's, and may your imagination forever soar on the wings of magic and wonder.